This is probably going to be one of the briefest interval videos. Um, this is dealing with what we call enharmonic intervals. So let's review the word enharmonic and let's take, this is in treble clef, let's not worry about these two bottom notes, but if you remember, enharmonics refer to um, two different ways to name the same pitch. So if you think about like the black keys on the piano, one of those keys could be either called E flat, and the same key could also be called D sharp in the right circumstances. So with intervals we have the same phenomenon, an interval that sounds exactly the same, that's written two different ways. So let's let's explore that now. So if you haven't watched the other videos on generic intervals and how to calculate um, half steps for interval qualities, please do that. This I'm going to go through it a little bit faster. Um, so here we go. So here we have A to E flat. So I'm going to get the generic intervals. So A is 1, B is 2, C is 3, D is 4, E flat is 5. So we know that this is some sort of fifth. Now if we go to our keyboard, we're going to count from an A to an E flat. You know, I just need to zoom this out and do that. So here's our keyboard. There we go. So we're going to go from an A to an E flat. I'm going to count the half steps. One, two, three, four, five, six. Make sure I'm right. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we know that this interval has six half steps. So if we go to our chart, vertically the generic interval is a fifth. Horizontally it has six half steps. And where those meet, we're going to see that a to E flat is called a diminished fifth. Okay, let's do the next one. So the next one is here. A to D sharp. So if we count the generic interval, A is 1, B is 2, C is 3, D is 4. So A1, B2, C3, D4. The generic interval here is a fourth. Now let's count from A on the piano, let's bring this back up, A to D sharp. Now notice the last one was A to E flat, but now I'm going from A to D sharp. That's a lot like the same key, in fact it's literally the same key. So let's count it, let's see how many half steps it is. So one, two, oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, yep. So again, this is six half steps. So you can see that this is A to E flat, so it's called the fifth, because A to E is some sort of fifth. A to D is called some sort of fourth. So vertically, this is in the fourth generic interval column. Horizontally, it's in the six half step columns column, and this would be called an augmented fourth. And so this interval, whether it's written A to D sharp, or A to E flat sounds exactly the same and is what we call an enharmonic interval. Let's look at one more example of this. Okay, so we have an F to a C sharp. So let's do the generic interval. F is 1, G is 2, A is 3, B is 4, C sharp gives us a generic interval of a fifth. If we count on the keyboard from F up to C sharp, now we're counting half steps and jumps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight half steps from F to C sharp. So vertically we have generic interval column of five. Horizontally we have eight half step row. And where those meet, you're going to see that this is an augmented fifth. So vertically, generic interval of fifth. Horizontally, eight half steps. Gives us an augmented fifth, where those two lines meet. Now the next one, and before we do that, you notice C sharp and D flat, those are the same black key. 
So we're going to calculate the interval now from F to D flat. So from F to D flat. So F is 1, generic interval. G is 2, A is 3, B is 4, C is 5, D is 6. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Generic interval of a sixth. We count the half steps from F to D flat. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Again, 8 half steps because whether it's F to D flat or F to C sharp, it's the same two keys. So now, or vertically, generic interval of a sixth, horizontally 8 half steps. This would be called a minor sixth. And so augmented fifths and minor sixths are generic intervals. So there are other examples of generic intervals, but these are probably the most, the most common ones that you'll see. So I hope this sheds some light on generic intervals, and have a great day. Thanks for watching.